right, so let's take a look at the numbers for the fuel flow test. So uh, we need to have a target, and we're going to use the brake-specific fuel consumption formula as our formula to calculate the gallons per hour target. The formula is basically 0.55 pounds per hour times the horsepower divided by 6 pounds per gallon, and we're looking for 125% of that. 125% if it is a pressurized system with a boost pump. Um, it's going to be 150% if this is pure gravity fed uh, and you're using a carbureted system unpressurized. And I've got numbers for both here, as I mentioned in the video. Um, but for my specific test, it's based on the um, fuel pump or boost pump um, at the servo inlet. So the left tank, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that first, the uh, servo inlet on the boost pump. The left tank, we got 88 ounces or 5.5 pounds times 60 minutes uh, divided by 6 gallons per hour or 6 pounds of fuel gives us a, a gallon per hour of 55. So uh, if our target is 125%, we were looking for 31.5 gallons per hour. We actually got to 55. So we're at 218% of the 25.21, which is this number here, uh, which is what we were looking for. We'll go to the right tank, same thing, uh, at the servo inlet, boost pump on. We got 84 ounces, converts to 5.24 pounds, times uh, 60 minutes is 314.4, divided by 6 gallons per hour, uh, comes to 52.4 gallons per hour, and we've got 208% uh, of the 25.21, so we're good there. Um, with the fuel selector on both, servo inlet boost on, we got uh, 56.25 or 223. So uh, we're good with the boost pump. So questions are, what does it look like on gravity? What does it look like if you lose the boost pump? Um, so let's say we still have, um, we're, let's say we're still testing at the servo inlet. Uh, but we don't have the boost pump on. Now we're on nothing but gravity. So you can see the difference here. Uh, on gravity, we've got 11.5 ounces compared to 88, which gave us 7.2 gallons per hour, and it, it came in at 29%. So that is not good. Um, we don't want to have that situation. But what does it look like if we have the if we measure at the engine fuel pump inlet, so the engine fuel pump is before the servo, so you know there's obviously some conflict inside the engine driven fuel pump that slows it down when it gets to the servo because this number here almost quadruples. We get 45 compared to 11.5 or 28.1 gallons per hour, uh, which is still not 125%, it's 111%. We're still going to pass the test because we're, we're only looking for a boosted fuel pressure at the servo. Uh, we'll skip the right tank. You can, you can look at those numbers, pause the video. But really what we, were, we want to show here is at the engine-driven fuel pump on gravity, we got 32.8 uh, gallons per hour, which is 130%. So that's what the numbers came out to be. Uh, Appreciate you guys taking a look at this video. Let me know if you have any questions. In the description below, I'm going to put more details as to how this test was performed. So thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you soon.